Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everything's good with you guys. So today I have decided to react on BG staying alive live. So if you want to see my reaction, then please keep on watching. song i don't know if you haven't heard the song i don't know you probably have been living under a rock or something i don't know how it is possible not to hear the song you cannot escape the song it's always on the radio loved watching them live such a cool vibe you know the audience starts to get crazy straight away it's a really really catchy song it's in my brain and probably will be for the rest of the evening it's it's a very catchy song, but, but, but it's also a really hard song. It's a really hard song. His voice is so extremely unique and it's so beautiful. For him, maybe it's 
you know, easier because, you know, his voice fits a lot more to this song. If you would try it, it's so high pitched, you know, it's really, really hard to sing. And to go there and sing with that much power, it's really cool to see the harmonies between them two were absolutely amazing like they blend together so beautifully it was such a joy to you know not even just watch but to hear it because it was absolutely gorgeous there wasn't even one note that was wrong it was absolutely amazing and it's it's a really hard song you know sometimes people forget actually how hard the songs are because of how popular they are. They're just like, you know, singing along and it's all good, you know, I'm singing along as well. It's a really catchy song. Everybody knows this song. But if you really do think about it and you do watch the live performance, it takes so much. It takes so much to perform the song live and, and well. Try it, try to sing it. It's really hard. It's so high pitched and it needs to be strong. And also there are these parts where you need to sing fast but still you need to hit the notes and also you need to sing in a way where people are actually understanding what you're saying. So it's all these things together and he, well, everybody there did absolutely gorgeous job of this song. Like the performance was so much better than the recording. Though I'm so happy that this song is only four minutes. The reason for this is if this song would be one or two minutes more, you know, longer, where they would keep singing, staying alive, staying alive, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, I would go nuts because even if it's catchy, usually it gets boring during the end because they keep singing the same thing over and over and over again. And during the last, last chorus, I was like, oh, but it was perfect. If there would be one or two more, I would have a completely different conversation with you guys right now. But it was really, it was such a good performance and it's such a good song. It's legendary. The song will stay alive forever, 100%. So this plays over the opening credits of the 1977 movie Saturday Night Fever while John Travolta struts through the streets of New York City. The movie has come to represent the disco era and has made Staying Alive one of the songs most associated with disco. Yes, that's true. A little bit of punk here and there. There was this beautiful jazzy uh, part of the song. I absolutely love that because it, it did change the structure and the sound of the song, which didn't make it boring. I really like that part and so disco, it's so true. The Bee Gees had been singing in high falsetto style since their 1975 hit Dead Talking, which was also on the soundtrack, but they were very popular as a vocal harmony group in the late 60s and early 70s. Their contributions to Saturday Night Fever brought them huge success, but marked them as disco singers. Oh, that sucks. This happens so often and it happens to, you know, with so many artists because people keep putting artists in boxes like stop that let them do what they want it's so much more interesting if you have one album in that genre one album in that genre or mix genres together like don't put artists in one box if they want to do just pop or disco or whatever that's their choice i hate the fact that only because of this success which is you know a really cool thing which they were so grateful for but at the same time they were like stuck in the disco bubble where people are like Oh, so you were singing all my disco music, you know, like... In a 1989 interview with Q Magazine, they talked about the stigma and why they didn't deserve it. We were not disco, Robin Gibbs said. People who emulated us were disco. All you heard on the radio was that do, do, syndrome sound. We never had a syndrome on one of our records. Oh, so yeah, I really enjoyed this performance. This song is iconic. I cannot wait to hear more from them. I hope they have many other type of music, which would be so cool to see. So guys, please let me know down below and comment on which song should I react on next. And also please let me know down below and comment what did you thought about this performance and the stigma around them. I really want to know your opinion on this. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this reaction video, then please like my video, subscribe to my channel and until my next video, bye guys.